<clears throat> I just got around to watching this. Let me go back a bit. Uh, right about here. That's how they work, and they've just been pumping, 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 pumping to get the stock market up. You know, hey, Peak Prosperity. It's BitConnect! It's Pump and Dump! That, that's the joke I have to integrate into what you're saying right there for that one. Continuing on. <laughs> NPR, you listen to the Wall Street Journal, like, oh, investors are cheered by, as if there were investors involved. This is a wall of money. The Federal Reserve is printing walls of money with the other central banks. And what's the effect of that? Well, people feel a little better. Maybe they'll spend more money at Target next weekend. But you know what's really happening? Yeah, the billionaires. They added 26% uh, to their net worth uh, since the start of the COVID crisis. They, uh, over... Two trillion dollars of new wealth flowed to these people right here, like Jeff Bezos, right? Like the last thing he needs is, is another few hundred billion thrown his way. But that's what the Federal Reserve is doing. So if you really want to know what to think about this, the Federal Reserve can just <laughs> themselves. They are a bunch of <laughs> and they are ruining this country. And I really just think that they need to just stop doing this. Just stop it. Just let go of this thing. I don't. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, that's just fucking priceless. As glad as I am that, um, that this guy at least is seeing what the fuck's going on. Hey, Chris from Peak Prosperity. Was it, is it Chris? Dr. Chris Martinson? Yeah, hey. When something drives a, a man of so-called science, I'm using that term in, in a bit of sarcastic, satirical parody for what, what has transpired. And this man of science goes on a cussing spree. Well, what else do you need there? It's, it's fucking hilarious. It's like that scene from the, the Doom movie back in what? 2016? Maybe before? Yeah, starring Dwayne Johnson and that other fellow. Can't remember the actor's name. What gets a scientist so freaked out that he rips his own ear off? What gets a man of science so pissed off that he cusses in his YouTube video and the only thing he does is bleep it out? Hey, Doc. Forget the censorship of yourself. YouTube will do that for you. Anyway... Seriously. <laughs> eh, Dr. Chris Martinson from Peak Prosperity. Now you know how we in the, the, the gaming space of YouTube have felt for years. Welcome to the hell you helped create unwittingly, unknowingly. Yeah, welcome to the hell you've helped create. And no, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. Get a couple of more seconds, maybe a couple minutes more out of this. Care, you know, the world's on fire. It's like, what? Do we got to make the billionaires more billionaire? He just. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I care about that is because, and I think the reason you should care about this too, is as Plutarch said thousands of years ago, an imbalance between the rich and the poor is the oldest and most fatal ailment of all republics. So while the Federal Reserve is busy printing money and shoving it into the market so they never go down again and we don't all get depressed about that, what they're really doing is creating an extraordinary wealth gap. And this is corroding our country and it's going to ruin things. It's going to ruin... No, no, no. It's not going to, doctor. 
it already has. You're just, just now noticing it. I've known for over 17 years. I've watched. Uh, let's see. Seven, almost eight years ago, give or take a little bit here and there. I noticed when... It may seem unrelated, but it indirectly, financially, it's related. I noticed the price of a loaf of bread in five months' time quadrupled from 89 cents to somewhere over $2.90 something cents before. The Pac-Man virus was released onto this planet. That was... A couple of years before this whole situation. And you're just now noticing? My, you're really fucking slow. Or at least... You're just now saying something about it in this video that you premiered on October the 15th of 2020. Seriously, dude. You're really fucking slow. And, yeah, 17 years ago, when I first noticed that the, the video gaming industry was violating everyone's unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness... I sent letters in to Microsoft, which they promptly proceeded to ignore. And last year, sometime, don't remember the month, I sent letters to the Supreme Court telling them some things. But mostly that was just stuff for myself. So I could distance myself from this whole situation that's going on and just go off and live what's left of my miserable life in what little peace and quiet I could have. No, oh, but see, all seriousness, all seriousness do. Uh, the jokes about you flipping out and cussing aside. All seriousness. You're just now noticing and saying something this year about something that's been in the works, that's been going for over a decade. Yeah, welcome to the hell you helped create. Well, what's a good philosophical Chinese quote to pull out of my ass for this one. Um, damn it. Usually I can think of a few. <laughs> Fuck, I can't think of anything. No sense in dragging this video on. So that's the end of it. Well, I totally didn't introduce myself at the start of the video. Well, ass backwards is better than none at all. I am Katana the Lightning Cat, YouTube, and your favorite fucking idiot. And I really need to get back on to stream recording more of what playthrough was I going on. Fucking Red Faction. Gorilla Remastered. Yeah, I need to get back to doing that. So that I can later on whinge on about not having enough money to get a digital copy of Red Faction Armageddon because my Fucking sex box Uno 
doesn't play discs anymore. That's it. Toodle pips. Links in the description for whatever ails you. Throw some fallacy credits my way. I'll do something stupid and hopefully I'll get enough from all of you to get really drunk while I'm doing it. That way you can laugh at me doing something stupid and pointless instead of saying things like I have through this video, which is just going to add more stress to your lives. And unless you're one of those sadists who get a kick out of it. In which case, either way. Total pips.